Good morning and bless each and every one within the sound of my voice. Pastor Prince here with you from the Temple of Refuge Ministries. We pray that God is keeping you wherever you may be joining in with us from. We know that God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Regardless of the technical challenge, we are still going to give God the glory, the praise, and the honor that is due his name. We will be coming to you from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 25. And we'll also be coming from the book of John, chapter 8, 36. So Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 25. John, chapter 8, verse 36. With all that being positioned, let us get ready to invite the Lord to meet us and join us through prayer. Most heavenly and gracious Father, we thank you for last night's slumbering from this morning's rising. We know that all things work according to those that love you, and we're simply professing our love for you on this morning. Let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let no hurt, harm, or danger come to with anyone within the sound of my voice right now, O oh God. God, we thank you for your many choice blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for the victories that have already been won that we have yet to even become conscious of. We thank you for the glorification of your son, Jesus Christ, who died that we all may live. Now, Father, I would pray that you would anoint these clay lips to speak life, truth, and power to these, your people. Let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Open our hearts to receive, open our ears to hear what you would have for us on this day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the sweet Holy Spirit, we say thank you, Lord, and amen. Good morning, Sister Prince. Good morning. All right. If you would be so kind to read Isaiah chapter 43, verse 25, and then John Verse 8, verse 36. Chapter 8, verse 36. Isaiah 43 and 25. I, even I, am he that blotteth out thy transgressions for mine own sake and will not remember thy sin. And John 8, verse 8, verse 36. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Amen. Amen. And today's message is simply this. Forgiveness starts within. Amen. Forgiveness starts within. I got another song that's been on my heart this morning. And I believe it's appropriate for such a time as this. So if you would bear with me, I'll just run, as I say, a little bit, because I don't want to wear you down, have you happy twice, happy to hear me get up, and happy to hear me sit down. But the song just simply says, I know I've been changed. I no, I've been changed. I know I've been changed. The angels in heaven done sign my name. If you don't believe, I've been redeemed. The angels done heaven, done sign my name. Follow me down to the Jordan stream. The angels in heaven done sign my name. Amen. Forgiveness starts within. In the book of Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, 
that entire chapter is literally speaking about redemption and salvation of man. And God is reminding and encouraging Isaiah that when all else fails, know that you have been forgiven. Know that he is thrown it in the sea to remember no more. So the only struggle that we truly have, regardless of what you've been forgiven of, is the ability to forgive ourselves. We can forgive others, but we must learn how to forgive ourselves. There is no one within the sound of my voice right now who has not done anything that has come short to the glory of God. But we cannot linger over that. We cannot harp on that. We have to truly know that when we repent with a pure heart, when we ask the Lord to forgive us, that we have been forgiven. And the only one who wants you to hold on to that stutter or that stagger in your life is Satan himself. He wants you to remember everything that you may have fallen short of, everything that you may have done wrong, every person that you may have wronged. He wants you to stay in that state because he doesn't want you to embrace the freedom that came through Jesus Christ for both you and I. And the longer he allows us to stay in that place, we become stagnant. We stunt our own spiritual growth, and therefore we'll die and wither even while on the vine. And so we must understand that forgiveness starts within. Father taught us in Matthew, that when we pray and we ask for him to forgive us as we forgive those who have trespassed against us, and, and, and we've asked God to forgive us, we, we've forgiven those who trespass, but we haven't forgiven ourselves. When we look in that mirror, and, and, and you got to be able to know that you are free, that you are free indeed, regardless of the backlash that comes and, and regardless of who tries to bring back your past. And if the truth be told, we all have a wretched past that, that, that someone, if they've known you long enough, can say, I remember a time when you were X, Y, Z. And yes, you are absolutely right. But today I am F-R-E-E. -E. I'm free. But why? Because the sun has set me free. When Jesus came to the 42 years or the 42 generations of, of, of man, and when he gave up the ghost that Calvary saw, he said, it is finished. It is done. No longer are you going to be bound. No longer are the chains are going to hold you. Why? Because now I know that forgiveness, yes, I've been forgiven by the master. I, I, I have to now learn how to forgive myself. Often when we're in isolation, the enemy wants to bring back every little possible thing he thinks he can to shake your tree. He'll make you feel doubtful. He'll make you feel alone. He'll make you feel worthless. And, and, and notice the word that is following whatever the adjective was, feel, feel, feel. I'm so glad that I, I can't just base my loving and obedience to God on feelings because if the truth be told, sometimes you just don't feel like it. Uh, and, and I'm reminded when Jesus was at Gethsemane and he didn't feel like having to go through these things, but he gained consciousness through the spirit of God when he said, nevertheless, not thy will, but thy will be done. That's where we have to get ourselves into a position with God with a nevertheless, not thy will, and, and understand that I've been forgiven. If I've asked him for forgiveness, 
He's given me forgiveness. The only reason that we have not walked in the spirit of forgiveness is because we have not forgiven our sin. Yeah, there are some family members that remind me, yeah, you used to be something. I sure would. Thank God for grace and for mercy. You got that old friend that, uh, oh, man, you were something. Like, yeah, thank God for grace and for mercy. And then you, you always got, whether it's a friend or a relative or someone that you grew up with, they seem like when you didn't, you didn't clear the pathway and they remind you of some of the most low-down, dirtiest stuff you've ever done, you had forgotten about it. As a matter of fact, it is so far removed out of your mind, you have to Go back and say, wow, I, I did do that. And now here come those burdens that Jesus has so gracefully removed you from here, now trying to pile back on you. But I dare you to trust the word of God. John eight thirty six says, who the Son sets free is free indeed. I don't care if you were a murderer. If you served your time and done what needs to be done, guess what? You repented to the Lord, you're free. I don't care if you're a liar, backbiter, whatever weight or baggage that you brought to the cross. When you laid it at the cross, if you truly laid it at the cross, you have been forgiven. Now, the question is, whose report will you believe? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. I'm not going to let no sidewinder keep me bound. We used to sing the song, Why Should I Be Bound? And that's why when you know what your punishment should have been, and you're here on grace and mercy, if nobody can have a praise for God, it should be you. If no one is willing to sing to his goodness, it should be you. If no one is willing to clap their hands and say hallelujah, it should be you because I know where I should be. But because of his grace and his mercy, because of his forgiveness, I've been set free. And if he set me free, why don't I set my own self free? Old Saul said, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. Do y'all understand the power that comes with forgiveness? God is not looking back at your past. We are looking back at our past. And as long as you keep looking back at your past, you cannot move forward. You cannot achieve the promise that God spoke over your very life because you have not learned how to forgive yourself. I wish somebody would just declare, I am free. Come on, say it with me one more time. I am free. I'm not going back to yesterday's news. I'm not going back to the vomit. I'm not dealing with unnecessary stress on my mind. Why? Because I'm free. The Lord has set me free. I have been delivered. I have been set aside. Why? Because the Lord has called me back unto him. And because he's called me back unto my conditioning starts in my mind. My conditioning starts in my action. My conditioning starts with my tongue. And I'm going to declare over myself, and I'm going to declare over anyone within the sound of my voice right now that you have been set free. You have been delivered. Will you receive that report? Will you believe that report? The enemy wants to keep you wrapped up and tangled up in all that junk and all that garbage and all them calamities that will not have you see your own value, your own worth. 
I did this in my past. You say, yeah, you did. So what? I said this in my past. Yes, you did. So what? But who the Son sets free is free indeed. Forgiveness starts within. There, there may be some folk that you need to get some matters straightened out with. And you keep focusing on where they did you wrong or cut you short. And it may be so true. But guess what? You have to forgive that person just like you got to forgive yourself on allowing you to get caught up in whatever circumstances there were. And even if you were innocent, you still got to forgive yourself and those who have trespassed against you. Why? Because that's what the Word of God has said. He's established that in his holy scriptures. And because he's established that, I have to remind myself every now and then that, yes, we're going to fall short. Yes, we're going to stumble. Yes, we're going to have some weary days. But I declare I'm free. I declare that I've been forgiven. I declare that salvation is mine. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. It can't prosper because it's not in his will for it to prosper. Yeah, you may be going through it right now. And it might be a struggle like there's been no struggle in your life that you've ever experienced. But know this, you're free. You've been forgiven. You're not being punished because of something that you did, your your forefathers done. No, no, no. Free your mind. And the rest will follow. Position yourself through God's word. Let his will truly become your will on earth as it is in heaven. The only reason that we are falling short is because we are walking in unforgiveness. And it's not necessarily unforgiveness of folks who have trespassed against you. It's for unforgiveness against yourself. If we would be honest right now and you do a self-check of where you are right now compared to where you come from, and, 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 and you sit up and you're like, man, I, I've messed up royally in my life. And we can't tell him thank you enough. That's why he said in Isaiah, yeah, man, I, I put that in the sea of forgiveness. I'm not remembering that. No, you're the only one holding on to that. Free yourself. Even when the enemy bring it up, you know, I'll make it so distant and cloudy in your mind, and you'll start chuckling. You know what? You're right. I did do that, didn't I? But thank God for his grace and for his mercy. Thank God that he he saw enough in me to give me yet one more chance. And because he's given me one more chance, I'm going to embrace it, and I'm going to run to the finish line to see what the end is going to be. You cannot finish the race if you don't complete the race. Now, let me, let me help clear something up right there. I didn't say win the race. Hello, somebody. I said finish the race. You cannot finish if you quit. I don't care if you came in last place. The fact is that you finished the race. You didn't quit. And when you can't forgive yourself, you have quit. If you continue to run your race, don't worry about it. everybody else seem to be passing you up and even laughing you. Don't worry about that. You just continue to run your race. The song said, believe I'll run on, see what the end is going to be. The problem is we so 
conscious about what everybody else is doing and how they're getting it done that you can't focus on just continually running your race. I don't have to be stagnant. He's forgiven me. Let me start back running. I don't care if I have to rest 12 times. I rest, and once I feel like I go a little bit further, I go a little bit further. Why? Because I've been forgiven. I've been redeemed. I've been washed by the blood of the Lamb. And he promised that if I continue to run my race and finish my race, that he's going to come back for me. Yeah, glory. He's coming back for me. I don't know about you, but he's coming back for me. Therefore, I'm going to keep my house in order. He's coming back for me. And I want to be ready when he returns. I want to be ready. And it starts with learning how to forgive yourself. I pray that someone is receiving this right now. I pray that you are standing under the anointing and the promise of God's word that you have been forgiven. Know this. Understand this. Trust, receive, and believe this. That, that God has forgiven you, but you got to forgive yourself. You got to forgive yourself. Make no bones about it. We've done some things that have been horrible. But guess what? You've been forgiven. Therefore, who the Son sets free is free indeed. I want to pray with you. I want to keep you encouraged. I need you to know that all is well. Most heavenly and gracious Father, we stand before you with outstretched hands, open hearts and open lips, asking you to forgive us where we've fallen short. Give us the insight, the wisdom to understand how to forgive ourselves, O oh God, as we have forgiven others who have trespassed against us. Help us to stay focused and move forward according to your divine will and glory, both here and in heaven. Let us not be bound by our own thoughts. Let us not be bound by Satan. Let us not be bound by circumstances. But let us truly walk with the assurance, knowing that you are with us every step of the way, knowing that your hand is outstretched to us to lead us toward a deeper understanding of our salvation. Let no weapon formed against us on earth or any other depths that we are even unaware of come against us. Let thy anointing bring us assurance. Let thy spirit bring us comfort. And let thy word bring to thy remembrance of just how much we've been forgiven. Father, I ask that that man, that woman, that boy, or that girl that is with the sound of my voice right now receive this message and let that chain of desperation be broken. Let that chain of depression be broken. Let that chain of oppression be broken. Let that chain of unforgiveness be broken. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I declare the freedom that comes with forgiveness. Therefore, it shall be done. Amen, amen, and amen. I am free. Praise the Lord, I'm free. I'm no longer bound, no more chains holding me, my soul is resting 
It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Amen. May God bless you. And may he keep you. It's our earnest prayer. Know that forgiveness starts within. Know that the only one that wants you to hold on to yesterday is Satan himself. Walk in your newfound freedom. Walk in the spirit of righteousness. Walk with the assurance to knowing that God has you coming and going. Glory be to God. We want to pray that the anointed one's voice is getting better. This is a little bit under the weather. Every now and then, it's God's way of saying we just have to rest just a little bit. And we pray that your healing is manifesting itself, Sister Jane. And if the Lord touches, or should I say when the Lord touches, we'll resume with the scriptures on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Meanwhile, we are so grateful for the movement of God, not only at the temple, but throughout the rest of the land. Continue to pray for those who are in the heat waves and the calamities throughout the country. We know that God is a keeper. No matter how hot it gets, he still can be a cooling fan for us as he was for the Hebrew boys. And let us hold fast so that be mindful, stay hydrated, and let the will of the Lord lead us, guide us, and protect us every step of the way. Encouraging you to visit the website at obnradio.com where you can make your donation or you can send your donation through uh, Cash App at dollar sign OBN Radio. You can send your support by way of mail at P.O. Box 891, Prairie View, Texas, 77446. Amen. The um, restructuring, remodeling of the church has come along quite well. Walls have been uh, reestablished. Uh, the reminder of the walls of Jericho. They ain't coming down, but they are coming up. Amen, somebody. And we're just thanking God for the progress that's being made. Uh, thanking God for the angels of mercy that have been helping um, in front of the scene, behind the scene of the movement to continue to move forward. And we are so appreciative for everyone. And please know that your little bit does make a difference. We're not asking you to go vote, but we are asking you to do what the Lord has allowed you to do and to help us with this progression of moving forward. Amen. To God be the glory for all the things that he has done, all that he is doing, and all that he is going to do. Don't forget. We love you, and there is absolutely nothing that you can do about it. So don't you dare try. I am Pastor Prince of the Temple of Refuge Ministries, located in the beautiful city limits of Prairie View, Texas, where we are building the kingdom one soul at a time. And until the next time, you all be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.